Hi folks, it's me, Manic Mark, coming to you from the Bucker Sithong. Forget all that, it's just way too early in the morning. Anyway, so what I did was finally get into what needs to be got to. Is I, I, I've got a couple of these, um, these old, they sort of look like books. For those of you that are, you almost need to be older than I am to know what this is, but it's, it's, it looks like a book, but it's not. It's, it's a container it's for papers so that you can put your uh, important papers in it and you can put it on a shelf, and I've got a couple of them. But I've converted it to a piece of art. Nothing rare, I don't think. Most of them are just thrown out, <clears throat> but still not rare. But it's an interesting looking, looking shape, and I thought, because it's kind of very antique and old, and so my idea, before I get to what I've done on the inside, is that y y y you pay me big, big money and you buy this, and you enjoy it for, I don't know, however long you want to enjoy it, but at some point, you need to put it up uh, in the house that you live in when you get older like in the attic. And and then when you pass away and whoever's going through your stuff, somebody who doesn't know you or doesn't know what this is will stumble across it when they're cleaning out the house or whatever they're doing and go, oh, look at this. There could be real treasures in here, which of course there are, but it's not the treasures they expect to find. Is the Kill What You Don't Understand book. This is the Kill What You Don't Understand book. That's Kill What You Don't Understand's right there. And then this thing flips open and you've got something you can't see the whole thing because it's not you can't see it it has to go over this way right and you go to the website and see bigger images once again i'll put the link down here so you can go down here and make me an offer that i can't refuse and, and, and it is bad economy my I, I have it slash my prices i'm telling you right now <laughs> unlike real outsider artists i'm concerned with inflation <laughs> okay so you open this up and you've got the panel I call Naked Mommy, which is Naked Mommy wore a skull with electric hair. So now that people have opened this thing thinking they're going to find like a, a hand-signed uh, original letter from Abraham Lincoln or Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> and they're two-sided paintings, so they'll pick it up and they'll turn it over and they'll see this. And this is called Don't Drink and Drive. Um, why is anything painted the way it is, or why is anything titled the way it is? <laughs> okay, so the next one's just the cross, because, it, it, you, you know, I have to apply these, these these icons to what I do here so that people just, like, uh, if there's a, kind of some kind of religious connotation, they're going to be making up stories, too, you know what I'm saying? It's like icons always, whatever's in somebody's head, they, they trigger stories in people's heads. How long it takes for this joke. <laughs> this manic back mark joke for the for somebody to you know for the joke to happen. This is like the, the joke that waited for a hundred years. Okay, so then you got that, you, and, and that's just called manic mark's cross. And this one's called you know that the bad word that I have to bleep out all the time. Sometimes I don't. Um, it's the word that needed to be said in an abstract fashion. Okay, the next panel is called. Um, Chia Pets from a Black Hole. Chia. chia Pet, the pottery that grows. It's fun and easy. Soak your chia, spread the seeds, keep it watered, and watch it grow. Chia Pets is such a stupid idea that I remember when they first came out, I'm like, this, this is the most ridiculous thing that's ever been invented on this planet in the history of the universe. And that's that's a pretty bold statement to make, but I I, I just never <laughs> ever got the appeal of Chia Pets. But guess what? They still sell these sons of bitches. This is the black hole, and there they are on Christmas, sucking the life out of you. <laughs> so this one's titled Vampire Chia Pets from Black Hole. Here's just an abstract painting it's got the word something written on it and it's got a you know a piece of the Bud Light Lime called because they owned a bunny because they owned a bunny doesn't mean they are funny now 
originally I thought about doing something more to this. And this is maybe one of the more, my more favorite panels because I liked how the bunny came out. And I'm not even going to say it now, so it'll always be a mystery. Then on the reverse side is the um, Some Pray for Fire. And you know, I got to put atomic, holocaustic fire. Oh, uh, don't forget the penises. <laughs> <laughs> They're on this panel. <laughs> this one's called I Hired a Ninja to Wave Hello. <laughs> and people w wearing underwear made out of cotton candy. I don't know where I came up with that, but the, the whole idea of a ninja wearing panties made out of cotton candy just somehow appealed to me. So I, I drew a picture of it. Okay, you flip it over and there's alien boobs. <laughs> flowering rhinestones on, on it because they're, they're, they're obviously female alien boobs. The gender of alien species could be the one with big, you know, I, I have no idea, you know, and, and then there's your butt level. So, oh, and then the last panel is actually in the box and it's father eight and human flesh or anything like that because that would just be, just going to be, it's, they're going to be, uh, I don't know what they're going to be. I, I have no idea. You know what kind of reality shows are going to be there? Like crap I found. And now for another episode of crap I found. Oh my God! I was going to the attic, and I thought I found a box with a personally autographed letter from. I, I, I went back to the real estate agent said I can't have this house because this is in it, and, and now the house is possessed by the spirit of Manny Mark. And I hope you're no more possessed now than when you click the clicky thing. <laughs> and thanks for stopping by and. Goodness gracious, it's, it's just been so nice and warm that I feel just unnecessarily a perky. <laughs>